Thousands of people marched through the streets of New Delhi on Sunday to celebrate the city's annual Gay Pride Parade. I just arrived today for the Gay Pride and I'm here because I'm for equality. India's Supreme Court three years ago reinstated Section 377 of the Constitution, which criminalizes gay sex. However, a petition that seeks to re-examine the 2013 judgment is pending before a five-judge bench of the Supreme Court. Members of the LGBT community and their supporters want the court to reverse its decision. So I'm straight and I have a lot of friends who are gays and lesbians. But I think it is very important for people like us to come and support it. Activists say that since the law was reinstated, members of the LGBT community have increasingly become targets of extortion and violence. I think you're seeing some new violence because some of that pullback and legitimacy has been eroded a little bit. But I think the biggest challenge for us in the movement right now is that there are particular parts of the movement, for example, working class trans folks, right, who are increasingly at the front line of a kind of criminal justice and police violence. The World Bank estimates that workplace discrimination against members of the LGBT community could cost India billions of dollars in lost productivity. LGBT activists say they are hopeful that the Supreme Court will rule in their favour when it takes up the matter in the coming months.